Education and inclusion are two of the key components of the Cardano ecosystem. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the latest updates as it comes to IOG's recent investment in Kenyan fintech company Possession, as well as their partnership with Stanford University. We'll also go ahead and talk about some of the latest updates as it comes to Vasil as we get closer towards this hard fork event. Also talking about Project Catalyst and voting. Lots to go over in this video today, everybody. Be sure to stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. If you all do enjoy this content here today, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you do want to stay up to date with more Cardano content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe as well. And be sure to click that notification bell. I post Cardano content, education, how-to, tutorial videos, as well as the latest news and updates on this channel. You definitely don't want to miss it. So let's go ahead and jump right in. In some of the headlines recently, we saw Kenyan Fintech company Possession raises $11 million backed by Cardano's parent company, IOG. Taking a look at this article, we saw some of the details as it relates to this. So this is coming from Cardano's C Fund. This is one of their investment arms um, when it comes to being able to put money into startups like this. So now this is interesting because it's actually an African fintech, and we know that Cardano and IOG has a big presence within the African community, trying to help bank the unbanked, so to speak, with this blockchain technology. Access to finance remains a key growth constraint for small businesses, with data showing a $330 billion financing deficit for the small enterprises that make up 90% of Africa's businesses. The opportunity and impact in solving working capital problems for SMEs is huge. We are solving the root cause, which is information asymmetry issues, to ensure quality and responsible borrowing. Possession solves this through our robust API-driven credit scoring technology, Mora, the CEO, told TechCrunch in this article. So it gives us a bit more information about this partnership, essentially what they're trying to do, solving these problems, creating more opportunities for these African businesses to access capital. Possession plans to create a $100 million financing opportunity each year for businesses by tapping local and international banking institutions, high net worth individuals, and decentralized finance. Charles Hoskinson also had something to say about this partnership investing in Possession. He said that facilitating the movement of capital into emerging markets to support economic growth and job creation is a core promise of blockchain and cryptocurrencies. Our vision is centered on using technology to make it easier for people across the globe to borrow and lend to each other in a regulated way. This investment in Possession is an important milestone and we're excited to be a part of their growth story. So this is nice to see. I think that in terms of being able to help facilitate some of these existing companies that are already trying to solve these problems as it comes to access to capital and being able to finance businesses, this is great to see. As we know that Cardano does have a huge presence within Africa, IOG's investment into Possession follows an earlier announcement that the two companies have partnered to build a peer-to-peer -peer financial operating system for Africa. And we see a lot of that with what they're doing with Cardano. You've got other great projects such as World Mobile, which is helping to bring about internet connectivity to many of these places who don't have access to internet. So I think with all these different collaborations taking place, it's really going to set the stage for a really, really exciting future for the African continent. We did also get to hear from Hilda Mora. I am deeply humbled and excited about the investment from Charles in our current pre-series A round of $11 million. The future looks promising as we join hands with IOG in building Africa's embedded finance operating system for SMEs. Great to see that amazing update. So in terms of bringing about inclusivity to these places who need this access to capital, IOG definitely leading the charge. We also saw that IOG had partnered with Stanford University, uh, investing $4.5 million into a blockchain research hub. We know that Cardano has built its foundation on scientific research and peer-reviewed science. And with this $4.5 million blockchain research hub at Stanford University, making themselves known as one of the leaders within the industry as it comes to this research. 130 plus research papers about a whole host of different topics have already been published. So it's going to be interesting to see what they are going to be able to do with this research hub, uh, bringing so many bright minds together in one place. Blockchain technology can improve multiple aspects of society. Peer-reviewed research ensures more rapid growth, continuous improvement, and mainstream technological adoption in a more secure manner. 
So it's with this need to measure twice and cut once that IOG and Stanford's new research hub brings together Stanford's bright minds from various departments to tackle fundamental questions in the blockchain space, extensively increase the blockchain industry's coalition of scientific knowledge, and promote the fundamental need for research in this nascent space. Charles also had given us a quote here in this article saying that we've been dedicated to vigorous research since the inception of the business, and our work forms the foundation on which Cardano has been built. Working with leading academic institutions like Stanford to set up these blockchain research hubs is key to our vision. With the research hub, blockchain development can grow even faster based on the new learnings that will emerge, and the hub will add a new layer of validity to our sector that we haven't always been afforded. Very true, making it that much more of a legitimized industry considering how much research has gone into creating this technology. I know that IOG also has done a lot of great things with the University of Wyoming, so it's great to see that they are expanding their reach to Stanford University as well. Going over a bit of an update now, talking more about the Cardano side of things. At the turn of the latest epoch, the Cardano treasury now sits at 1 billion ADA. That's one of the most remarkable things about Cardano, in my opinion, is that they've thought about the governance aspects of how they want to continue to build and iterate on the blockchain. And with Cardano's treasury, we have a way to be able to incentivize people to come and build businesses in the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, now seeing it over 1 billion ADA, I think it's really incredible. We have Catalyst Fund 9 voting coming up very soon. I'm going to get into that here at the later part of this video. But 1 billion ADA just goes to show you the growth of the ecosystem within such a short amount of time. Taking a look as we move forward towards the Vassil hard fork, IOG had put out a great website to be able to keep up to date with all the progress being made by the different exchanges that are needing to upgrade their infrastructure to get ready for this Vassil hard fork event. We do see on pool tool that the stake pool operators are ready to go. Stake pool operators were definitely on top of it in terms of upgrading their infrastructure. 81% of reporting nodes to pool tool are now running version 1.35.3. We are pretty much ready to go on the SPO side for that hard fork combinator event. Taking a look at the website from IOG to give us an idea on exchange readiness, uh, we see a few exchanges are ready. We've got BitTrue. Uh, we've also got BitMart. But then majority of these exchanges are either in progress or not started. So it's really important that we put the pressure on a lot of these exchanges to go ahead and update their infrastructure. A lot of big exchanges too, like Coinbase, haven't started yet. Binance, nice to see, is in progress. Uh, but it is very important that we keep an eye on this in terms of what's going to allow us to go forward with the Vassil hard fork. IOG has set a metric of approximately 25 exchanges representing 80% of the ADA liquidity, which is needed to trigger this event. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on this over the next few days, but it's nice to see that several of these exchanges have started the process of upgrading their infrastructure. And lastly, for those of you all who have stayed till the very end, a very important date to make sure you mark down on your calendars. We have Project Catalyst Fund 9 voting coming up very soon. There was a delay. So if you go to their IOHK Zendesk, at the time of me recording this video, it has not been updated, but I've been keeping up with all the social media channels, keeping up to date on Telegram. We do have an announcement here from Daniel Rybar saying that they have gone through with the Q&A for the voting app. It looks like it's going to pass on both the Play Store and the uh, App Store. So Monday, September 5th at 3 p.m. UTC is when we are go for voting with Catalyst Fund 9. So make sure you mark your calendars. We also have several proposals which we've submitted for Catalyst Fund 9. So definitely make sure you check out my Twitter on social media. I'm also going to be posting videos about the different proposals which we've submitted showing you how to vote as well. So definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that content. All right, everybody. Well, lots to go over in this video today. I really do hope that you found some value from it. It's amazing to see the progress made, not only from the Cardano ecosystem and the Cardano community, but also with IOG and the amount of work that they're putting in to really be a leader within the blockchain space and facilitating this research. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.